What's up guys and welcome to the final Pez Predicts of this series. It's the 2014 FIFA World Cup Final. Germany versus Argentina. The winners of this match are crowned world champions. Both teams have previously won it before. But yeah, as I said, this match decides who is crowned world champions. It's been a long tournament. It's been a good tournament. There's been, you know, decent, um, you know, play from all sides participating in this year's FIFA World Cup. And there's been some fabulous goals. There's been some fantastic skill and fair play and um, athleticism shown in games. There's been some you know, shockers of tackles, but, you know, that just shows that teams are determined to win, and they all wanted to be crowned world champions. You know, we started with 32, we're de now down to two. Only one of them are going to be champions. And, in my opinion, this game could go either way. Germany you know, they, pardon the pun, but mullered um, Brazil in the uh, semi-finals, 7-1. Argentina, they beat the Netherlands on penalties, but it doesn't really matter because, you know, they've still played well overall. They may not have dominated teams like Brazil did, uh, like Germany did to Brazil, but they've still played well. Yes, they've nicked a goal here and there, and that's how they've scraped through. But they've had to play well and defend well to get into that situation where they could just nick a goal and go through. Germany, on the other hand, have gone out all-out attack. So, in my opinion, it'll be Germany on the attack all the time, Argentina not playing counter-attack as such, but... Not not either sitting back, but defending well when they have to, and attacking when they can, and you know just stri striding forward when they need to, and, and yeah, it it will be a decent game. Um, obviously played in the Maracanã in Rio in Brazil, you know, that's the place where really now everybody wants to win a World Cup in the Maracanã in Rio in Brazil, and it can happen for, well, essentially 23 players from either Germany or Argentina. Um, so yeah, it will be a very good uh, World Cup final that uh, everybody watching will enjoy, and hopefully, <laughs> I like finals that don't end in 90 minutes, I like finals that go to extra time, because it just... Or even going to penalties. I don't like them to go to penalties, but I, I do like them to go to extra time. If they go to penalties, they go to penalties. But it just gives, you know, more. You know, you just it lets the tournament drag on a little bit more, and it just builds that excitement. If people can just nick a goal in last minute, extra time, stoppage time, and yeah, everyone goes crazy. Everyone goes crazy in the ninetieth minute if a goal scored. But you know, in extra time, it's just. It just it's just that little bit better, if you know what I mean. So anyway, we are into the second half of this simulation between uh, Germany and Argentina. It's still nil nil. Uh, Germany have mainly been on the offensive. Argentina have had a few attacks here and there. Um, they haven't really taken them. Neither of Germany, to be honest. That's why the score is still as it is, nil nil. Uh, but Argentina have the ball in the midfield with Messi, who. Really, he was. Really, people are saying that this was his World Cup to shine. He hasn't really shone at any of the previous ones in Germany in 2006, in South Africa in 2010, when really people knew he could. And to be honest, he's, he's played better in this tournament than he has in previous, but he still hasn't shone like we know he does for his club. So, yeah. Anyway, as I was talking, Marco Royce with a, I'm going to say ferocious volley, because it was just, it was an instant hit, 
with power into the bottom corner. He scores, opening the goal scoring for Germany, puts them 1-0 up and gives them the advantage in this final. If you just take a look at this, it's Ozil's original effort that gets blocked by the knee of the Argentine defender and Royce just comes in with a powerful volley. It takes an assist off the post to go into the back of the net but it still goes in nonetheless and it puts Germany in the lead and um, basically takes them that little bit closer to the FIFA World Cup itself and raising that trophy at the end of the game. Now obviously this is a simulation so we won't see the trophy being raised. It's also Pro Evolution Soccer so you're not going to see the actual World Cup in there. So yeah, I've omitted the trophy celebration but yeah. So when I say trophy celebration, one team does win the trophy. It's a bit obvious that because there's got to be a winner. So not it's knockout football. So yeah, just a word of warning. If this video ends like any other, yeah, it will because I've omitted the trophy celebration because it's not the actual World Cup. Okay, so we're in the closing stages of uh, this game. 81st minute. Uh, Argentina are just in a sub bring on Levetzi for Lionel Messi, of which Levetzi is dropped there by Lam, but it doesn't matter because it was a fair challenge, says the referee. 86 minutes played now. So, yeah, we're approaching the end of the game. Germany in control of the ball. Center circle, Ozil, Boateng, and we are now in to two minutes of additional time. And, uh, yeah, it could be Argentina's last attack if they get the ball. They're not going to get a chance to. Germany have won the game 1-0. Pez predicts that Germany will win and win the, not only win the game, but win the FIFA World Cup. That was it then for the Pez predicts uh, series for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. I hope you've enjoyed these simulations in this series, and I'll see you when I see you.